In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. We were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared fitting help for all for us in our weakness, grant we pray that we may receive the healing effect with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked sit among themselves, thinking not aright. Let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law and charges us with violation of our training. He profess to have knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us, he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us because his life is not like that of others and different are these ways. He judges us the best. He holds aloof from our, our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed and destiny of the just. And boasts that God is his father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilements and torture, let us put him to the test that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death. For according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were the th their thoughts, but they erred. For their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of his holiness, nor descend the innocent, innocent soul's reward, the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, 
the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he serves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all, the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Watches over the, his house, he watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Over to you. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jews, the Jewish feast of the tab of tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. But the authorities have realized that he is the Christ. But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, you know, you know me and also where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ, when he was here on earth, had two natures, the human nature and the divine nature. A great number of the Jews only saw his human nature, only knew his human nature. Therefore, they acted the way they did because the divine nature was hidden from their eyes. And therefore, they could not believe he would be the Son of God, the Christ, because they did not expect the Christ to come in human form. They did not expect him to come from their neighborhood. So it is even today, my dear friends in Christ, great number of us don't seem to see that Jesus in the Eucharist. We simply see a white bread, a bread offered to us. 
And that is why when we come before him, we lack the awe, we lack the respect. We sit back and talk in the church while the Holy Mass is going on because we don't seem to see the divine implications of that. Today, my dear friends in Christ, Jesus shows us he is both human and divine. That is why when he was telling them all this, they tried to kill him, but could not because his hour had not yet come, showing he is in control of his hour. He is in control of everything. And in the, in the, in, in the psalm, the sponsoral psalm today, we say, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. It is true, a lot of people today, many people are brokenhearted sitting back in their different house, not being able to know, do their different daily activities as they used to, that is enough to cause some depression. But the psalm today assures us that God is looking after us because he is close to the brokenhearted. He takes care of them, those who are crushed in spirits, so we pray and ask God to help us, to show us the light, to strengthen us while we are struggling during this time of crisis so that at the end we'll also get up again and everything will be back to normal. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and that of his holy church. Let us pray. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may Mary to be cool hers to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, though with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind. Through Christ 
our Lord. Now please join me and other Catholics throughout the diocese in praying the memorare, invoking the blessed lady's powerful intercession for the sick, for all who care for them, for those who have died of this virus, and for all of us to keep faith and live our daily lives of faith with greater hope and charity. <coughs> Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection employed thy help and sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come. Before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of thy word inter internet, despise not my petitions, but in thy clemency hear and answer me. Amen. The Lord be with you and your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.